Hi, I'm Jeff Payne. I'm a uh, preventive maintenance instructor with Caterpillar and today I'd like to talk about uh, oil filters. A lot of people don't take the time after they've done a service to cut their oil filter open and check for contaminants in it and uh, this can really help you uh, catch problems before even you get the SOS sample into the lab. Take your filter cutter and you can cut the top off any of our spin on filters top comes off, you bring out the uh, cartridge here. We don't need to look at the whole thing. We can take a knife and cut down through a section here and through a section and like this and uh, what we'll end up with is we'll take a piece like this example I have here. So once we've cut a piece out like this out of the filter, we'll squeeze it in the vise and we can take a magnet run across the top and look for uh, magnetic or ferrous type metal on here. After we've done that, and if there's no, nothing on there, on the magnet we can take it back out of the vise. It's cleaner now. We can open it up and see if there's any non-ferrous or metals in there. It would be brass, uh, copper, aluminum. If you see something like this in your filter, you need to shut your machine down right away and contact your cat dealer because uh, we've got something obviously going around on in here. And if you've seen just one or two flakes, that would be normal, but something like this, something's going on, and it's a lot cheaper to get a repair done now before it has a failure.